pain in the lower abdominal region, either on one side or the other, or sometimes both, can be called round ligament pain during pregnancy. It is so uncomfortable. When you go from sitting to standing, it can be some of the most painful experiences. The other things that can really bug you are just like turning over in bed or standing for a long time can feel near impossible because you can just feel crampy, aching, or pulling in that lower abdominal region. And it's not a comfortable feeling to experience during pregnancy. So I wanna give you three tips that are gonna help you tremendously reduce the amount of round ligament pain that you're experiencing during pregnancy. And I'm also gonna share one bonus tip of exactly what you should do in order to prepare for delivery. Because if you're experiencing round ligament pain during pregnancy, it can be one of the biggest indicators that your pelvic floor needs a little work before baby can fully exit vaginally during the delivery process. So first let's go through the three tips to help get you as pain-free as humanly possible if you're experiencing round ligament pain. This first technique is fairly simple. You might want a partner to do this technique with you and that can be extremely relieving, but it's also something that you can do by yourself. So when you have belly here, depending on how big your belly is and how many weeks you are, it might be more comfortable to have someone else do this for you. But to take, to start, if your belly is here, you are gonna scoop your hands from down from your pubic bone up towards your head, lifting the belly up towards the sky. This is gonna take some of the stress off of the round ligament itself. The round ligaments are just drapes of almost like saran wrap. It's endopelvic fascia and ligament that connects the uterus and the fallopian tube to the pelvic bones itself. So simply just taking the, the slack and the pressure off of the slacking, the round ligament, taking the pressure off the round ligament by lifting the belly up towards the sky is extremely helpful in helping reduce round ligament pain. Now, it's hard to just walk around all day using the hands to support your belly. And that's why just having a partner come behind you, wrap their arms be around you, and lift your belly up for you can be absolutely so relieving. And if they can hold that for a few minutes to five minutes, you can get some serious relief just by lifting up the belly. That also means that possibly a support belt would be beneficial for your body and getting something to lift the belly up a little bit. However, usually belts have their own realm of being uncomfortable. And so just using this simple little manual technique to lift belly up can be absolutely essential in helping your round ligament pain. Okay, the next thing I want to teach you to do is to use your lower abdominal muscles, your transverse abdominus muscle, I want to teach you how to activate that so that when you go from sitting to standing or when you do any other kind of movement, if you initiate that movement by activating that muscle, it is going to take significant pressure off of the round ligament itself. So. Let's activate the muscle first, and then we'll do a practice sit to stand. Going from sitting to standing is oftentimes what is a trigger for people with round ligament pain. So we'll talk about that and we'll demonstrate what that looks like as well. So if you wanna find this muscle with me, it just lives on the front side of our bodies right here in this horizontal fashion. And when it contracts, the muscle fibers go like this and they pull up and in, and then they relax out. And so if you imagine, or you can touch your hands right here inside the hip bones, and you imagine lifting belly up with your muscles. So it looks like this, you're here, you see belly, and then you lift up and in without contracting your glutes. You just engage lower abdominals and then relax everything, engage lower abdominals. That is a transverse abdominus contraction and you should feel the muscle firming under your fingers and pulling up and in. Nothing should be bulging out. And so that is the activation. Here's what we're gonna do. We wanna combine your movement of going from sitting to standing with that activation so that the muscle takes the force off of the round ligament. And so doing a move like going from sitting to standing or a squat becomes a lot less painful if you're using your, your transverse abdominus muscle. So here we go. So in this sitting position, we'll activate our transverse abdominus and then we'll go into standing keeping that muscle nice and active, and then we'll sit down again. 
And so the practice here is engage that transverse abdominis and then stand up. And that should take off a lot of that pain and pressure that you might get from going from sitting to standing in that uh, round ligament area. That is the second most essential thing to do. Third, the round ligament it is in almost in line with the hip flexors a little bit. So you want to stretch your hip flexors. So even though the round ligament is being stretched and taut, if we stretch the hip flexor, when we come out of that stretch, it can actually be really relieving and can take some of that pressure off of that overstretched round ligament. You can follow me here. So if you need something to put your hand on, you can use a countertop or you can use a pole in your house. Um, but if you have a countertop and you just step forward, you keep your pelvis forward and you just lean forward onto the front leg, you're gonna feel a stretch of the front right hip and thigh. You can even hold the baby up and in with your hands as you stretch there. Or if it feels comfortable, you can reach this hand up over the side of your body, not too far, you're not dropping into it. You're just going for a nice little opening and stretch. And then you'll come out of it here and then you can switch sides and feel that stretch and opening on the other side. And you can lean a little bit more forward. You can keep that lower abdominal engaged. You wanna hold this for 60 seconds. So you can really fully get a full stretch. And then you'll come out of that stretch. And those stretches are gonna help relieve the round ligament. So now for the bonus part, the most epic thing that you will ever learn during your pregnancy and the reason behind every single thing I do is I created the body motion birth preparation protocol and the reason I did that is so people could fly around the world to come here to get their pelvic floors ready for birth and get their entire pelvis ready for birth. When we do this, we decrease our chances of having a cesarean, we decrease our chance of a tear, we decrease our chance of pushing for hours and hours. The reason being, when we have tightness already in our round ligament, that is a red flag to us that we are having a lot of tightness everywhere else. And we are probably having tightness down in the pelvic region, in the pelvic floor. Now, baby has to come out of here. And if we're already experiencing all of this tightness and pain with stretching for the growing fetus, then that means that we are gonna, we have a lot of stretching to do in the pelvic floor. So in order for you to go to delivery confident without feeling like you're pushing through a cement wall, we need to get range of motion of these muscles. And that is everything that we do here at Body Motion for the Birth Prep Protocol. And so people fly in from across the world, they'll spend a week or two with us and they'll do an intensive program to get the range of motion for their pelvic floor so that they're ready for birth. And I highly recommend it. It is the secret sauce to having the vaginal delivery of your dreams and that's what we do here and so if you have round ligament pain I highly highly recommend going that route of working with us to get the birth prep protocol so you can get range of motion of your pelvic floor you can also check out our other videos to help you get range of motion of your pelvic floor but nothing is going to do the trick that it does to come here and get the work done for you and really it's as simple as making these muscles stretch and open and giving them a new range so that they can fully open and relax so you can have the vaginal delivery that you're hoping to have. Take care, I'm Dr. Allison Felt. Please like and subscribe, share this video to all your pregnant friends and drop me comments in the, in the comments and I will, questions in the comments and I'll answer them. Thank you for being here, take care.